Hey, what is up my fish tank guys and girls? I know it's been a minute since I've posted a video, but today uh, I've got a really short video. Uh, I'm going to be adding a new fish to the Fluval Evo, so let's check it out. Okay, so before we talk about the fish I'll be adding to the Fluval Evo, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm going to be dropping some merch very soon. I have a lot of it already created. I have the listings ready to go, but uh, I haven't been posting very regularly, so I wanna get a couple more videos up on YouTube, and then I will send you guys a link to the store where you can check out some of the merch, which would be awesome for anybody who is uh, into the fish tank hobby. Now with that being said, what am I going to be adding to this tank here? Now you guys may remember the black and white damsel fish that I used to have in this tank along with my diamond goby. Well unfortunately the black and white damsel is kind of a meanie, uh, kind of a bully. He would continually chase the diamond goby around, wouldn't leave him alone. So I decided to jettison that sucker into one of my other tanks um, and he'll be hanging out there in fishy jail for a while. Hey, you big bully. There you are, look at you. You're just such a bully, aren't you? You're so cute with your white and black stripe. You silly bully, you can't get away from me. Yeah, so anyway, that, that guy really sucks. Um, so I'm glad I took him out of the tank here. Hopefully my Diamond Gobi will be a little happier with a more friendly tank mate. And that is why I'm going to be adding this guy. Now, you probably can't see him from this far away, so I'm gonna attempt to move the bag closer to the camera. I don't know if you can see him in there. Can you see him? Yeah, you can see him. Anybody who's been in the hobby a while knows what this fish is. This is a royal grandma, like a cool grandma, but not, sorry. Um, anyway, this is a royal grandma fish. It is a very, I'd say, even keel fish. I know it can get aggressive at times, but for the most part, it's pretty, uh, calm it's a nice community fish especially if you're adding it to a tank second like i'm doing in this case now if i would have had this guy in the tank for a while by himself and then added another fish afterwards maybe he would have shown a little bit of aggression towards the other fish but uh, this bag has been floating for a while now so the temperature should probably match that of the aquarium so i'm going to scoop them out and put them in the tank show you guys and we're going to wrap it up like i said pretty quick video today so uh let's go ahead and do that and get this guy into his new home. So this Royal Grandma is a really beautiful fish. I love the yellow and the purple. It's going to add a nice pop of color to this aquarium. And you know, as you can see right now, he's a little timid, but obviously he was just added to the tank. So after he's in there for a while, he'll get a little bit more comfortable and hopefully he'll be swimming around and being be hopefully he will be an active fish in this aquarium because I, like I said, I love to sit here at my desk and just watch the aquarium and watch the fish kind of do their thing. So I'm hoping that he's an active fish and he doesn't kind of hide under the rocks and stuff all the time. So hopefully he's swimming, he's out and about and all that good stuff. So uh, once again, I am the fish tank guy. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Please uh, consider giving this video a like if you, uh, if you would. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Keep in mind that I'm going to be dropping some merch very, very soon soon that I hope you guys check out. I'm really excited about it. And in addition, uh, I have a couple more videos coming up in the future. I've got a really nice one about the BioCube and upgrading the lighting. And then I'm going to have a video about this tank and the other inhabitant of the tank, which is my Diamond Gobi. For some reason, he just, I don't, he wants to get out of there and live on dry land, I suppose. I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm going to have a nice video about that uh, just so you guys are aware because at first glance you would think that this uh, aquarium is sealed quite nicely but alas there are there are loopholes that the diamond goby will find because he's insane so um, that's all I've got for today thank you so much for checking out my channel uh, and checking out this video until a future fish tank guy video I will see you guys soon